A hideous organism makes its nest in a mountain biker's head. I woke my wife up and I said, you've got to see it. It's, it's making noises and it's moving. Aaron Dallas is a ski instructor in Carbondale, Colorado. In the spring of 2007, something stops Aaron in his tracks. It was planting time, and as I was bending over to shovel, I felt this sharp pain in the back of my head. As I bent down, it got worse and worse. A week later, he begins to feel the skin on the back of his head is changing. I started to discover there were some distinct bumps on the back of my head. Aaron can feel a ring of five individual bumps protruding from the back of his head. As I'm lying in bed one night, I can hear noises in the back of my head. I can hear the bumps making noise. Uh, just a very faint scratch, 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 scratch. I woke my wife up and I said, you've got to see it. It's, it's making noises and it's moving. I took a shower right before I went to the doctor and went with wet hair to see the doctor. And he parts my hair, looks at the bump, and pauses. He goes, oh my God, what is it? What do you see? What is it? And he says, I don't know. All I can see are things moving inside the bumps on the back of your head. I think they're bot flies. The bot fly is a hairy insect about twice the size of a house fly. Its maggot larvae are known to live as parasites in human flesh. I am immensely relieved that I'm not going crazy, that there really are things moving and making noise on the back of my head. Aaron's head has been a nursery to five growing bot flies. Skin provides food and shelter for baby bot flies. I don't like to use the word maggots because it's not a very nice word and it doesn't make me feel very good that there were maggots in my head. But what he showed me were maggots. 